All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to start working on uh, my new build. It, it did, didn't take long for me to start wanting to do a new one already. But anyways, um, I what I plan to do is, a, the old camper worked out great, this current camper, um, but I, it can be better. And one of the things I, I wanna do is I actually wanna swap. I wanna put the bed over here and the cabinets over here. And originally I had the, the cabinets here because I wanted to make the second bed with the cabinet over here and I didn't need to um, I knew I wanted the space open so I I, I didn't want to obstruct the, the blind spot window um, so now that I'm not going to have a second bed over on this side I, I'm actually going to have it un underneath um, I'm, I'm going to move the cabinet over on this side so that I can utilize this space because this window is not a blind spot window I, I could fill it up and I can build up uh, a little bit of extra uh, cabinets here. So I'm going to take advantage of, of that it, by, by moving the cabinets over to this side so that I can keep building and move the bed over here. So um, what I want to do is I want to use uh, these uh, TV console cabinets that I got for free from Craig's List. <laughs> it was uh, re really lucky. No, I'll show it to you guys right now. All right. I think it's crazy good luck, but I found on Craigslist this uh, TV console table that uh, someone was giving away for free. And I was thinking, oh man, it'd be great if I could have two of these things exactly like this, one for the counter and one for um, the bed. And what happened? A couple of days later, I, I got, I, there was someone else giving away the exact same thing, exact same color, uh, <laughs> free also. So I'm gonna be able to repurpose these two TV console tables from Ikea, and I'm gonna make a, a bed and a, my cabinets out of it. All right, so a little crazy, but what I wanna do is I wanna chop this sucker down and then lower it so that uh, it doesn't take up any more space than it needs to. Um, so this will be my cabinet. That's, that's at least my plan. All right, so I got most everything out. So here's a quick look before the cabinet, and I'm going to try to suspend it. All right, so here's the cabinet that I chopped down. So I chopped down the top and I, I lowered everything. And so it's just about the height of the drawers. So I, I don't have that, that gap that I used to have. Uh, so, and I cut off the sides. You know, there's the remnants of the other side. And actually that, that shows you the relative height, the original height. And here's the new height. Let me put them together. There. So that's, that's what I chopped off to get to here. All right, let's take a look at the progress. Oh man, it is not an easy job hacking something up that wasn't meant to be. Let's take a look around. Okay, so that's the way it looks on the inside. I just have temporary uh, boards holding that end up. So that's the way it's gonna look. And the idea is that my second bed will actually be sleeping underneath here. And that's why I want so much room down there. In addition to um, having a lot of room for my feet to move around underneath to when I have the other bed bench right here. Okay, I got the legs in. Here's the way it looks the other side. Let's look on the back side. Here's the way it looks on the back side. And if you look here, I left the gap to access the plumbing. Let's get the drawers in. Take a look how it see. Let's see how it All looks. Right, that's the drawers in, and I think I'm done for today. I got a big fat mess of crap to clean up. So for today, it's Miller time. All right. So I found out I needed it to be a little bit more rigid in the back. So I put in this this piece to make everything more rigid. So it's so much more sturdy with that that full piece in the back um, so up here what I'm what I wanted to do is because the drawer will go right here and I'm gonna lose a little bit of space and I don't want to lose that space so what I did was I put some hinges here so I'm going to have a storage compartment right here that's you know basically that big uh, so I'll, I'll show you how that will turn out a little bit later but for right now I want to take off this um, seatbelt thing and I'm going to use that bolt to latch to crank everything up tight so that's the plan 
Okay, so this is firm enough to stand by itself at, at stationary rest, but uh, what I want to do is I want to make put a leg right here that's foldable. So when I'm traveling, um, I want to be able to put out the leg for some extra support. And when I when I have a second person sleeping underneath here in this bed area, I'm going to bring it up. So that, that's basically the idea. So when it needs a little bit more support, when it's bouncing around driving, I'm gonna have the leg, but when I'm parked, no big deal. All right, so I got this leg in and you'll see it'll fold. It'll fold up. And then when I'm traveling, when I need a little bit more support with all the shaking that goes on, I'll keep the leg down. Let me show you what it looks like. So it's just this little guy right here, and I'll leave a link for it in the description. But you just pull that, and then it folds up, and it looks like that. Out of the way, folds right back down. All right, let me show you how I reclaim some of that space. So here's the drawer. As you can see, there's some space right here. And what I did was I put a board there so that we could have some space right there. And you can see it's a pretty... Pretty good sized compartment I, I have there. And you could just access it easily by opening this up. Okay, up next is the sink. So now I wanna install the sink and I wanna put it here, but I still wanna use as much of this drawer as possible. So I'm gonna cut out a notch so that this drawer will still work and it'll still store things to the left and right. And here's where the plumbing will sit. And I'll show you how that will look in a second after I figure it out. Okay, so I have the sink in there. And what I want to show you is what it looks like down there. So what I want to do is I want to cut this drawer so that there's a U shape that would fit around that guy if I can. We'll see how that goes. All right, well, I wouldn't say it was an easy hack. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but it definitely wasn't easy. So you can see what I did. Cut a slot, hacked up the thing. There it is, the sink. All right, so to put a strap onto that, I wanna drill a hole right here and a hole over there so that I could uh, crank a strap on it. And you'll see what I mean right. in a second. I got the holes drilled and you can see I have a strap hook right there. I have another hole over here and I'm gonna put a strap hook on that one. And then I'm gonna crank All it right, tight. So I removed the seat belt buckle and that's the way the strap will look like. And it's wrapped around there to that side. So it's nice and firm, it's not going anywhere and I'm gonna screw this down to the, these boards too. All right, so there's my completed elevated cabinet. So I made it so that there's more room to move around, move your legs around in the car. And in addition, it would double as a second sleeper. Somebody would sleep on the floor underneath it. And you can see by the gap, there should be plenty of room. Let's look at the other there side. Is. Plenty of room underneath. Got my suspended cabinet up there still. So yeah, I think this is gonna work out nicely. I got another trip that I'm gonna be taken soon so I gotta wrap this up and and <laughs> so I could take the trip without stuff dangling everywhere mm -hmm. 